Our main set of tools for using forces to understand motion are Newton's laws. So Newton has three laws of motion. Um, and in this video, I'm going to start with the third law because it's easiest. We'll get to all three laws um, in the next couple of videos. So um, to understand Newton's third law, first you need to recall some of the things that we have talked about for forces already. So recall that every force has a type an on and a by. Okay, so um, what Newton's third law tells us um, is the following. And I'm going to abbreviate this N3L so I don't have to write out Newton's third law all over and over. Okay, so Newton's third law says the following. Every force has an equal and opposite force of the same type with opposite on and by. Okay, so um, to write that in equation form, we have a force um, on A by B, and I'm going to do this as force vector because forces are in a direction. Then that's going to be equal and opposite to the force on B by A. Okay, so that's it. Um, and I think that this will be clearest with a couple of examples. Um, so if we write this out um, with vectors and it looks like this, we can also write it just in terms of the magnitudes, F on A by B equals F on B by A. Okay, so let's try this out. Um, let's consider gravity. So let's say that there's a gravitational force on a book by Earth. Well, we could write that as gravitational force on the book by Earth with a vector over that. And that's going to be equal and opposite to the gravitational force on the Earth by the book. So we just switch the subscripts. The on and the by get reversed, but it's the same type of force. All right, so what does this mean? The um, Earth is pulling the book downward. Meanwhile, the book is pulling the Earth upward with an equal force. That seems pretty weird. I don't think that seems intuitive necessarily. Um, you might wonder, why don't we ever notice that? Well, the Earth is really big. And so even though the book has the same force on the Earth, it has a really small effect. Okay, so um, another example is I could push on a book. So let's say I exert a normal force on a book by Tim. Okay, well, if I'm pushing on a book, then the book is pushing back on me. So there's going to be a normal force on me by the book, and it will be in the opposite direction. Okay, every force has a uh, equal and opposite force um, pair. So we call these Newton's third law pairs, um, and if you understand the pattern, it's really, really simple. Every force has one, you just switch the on and by. Um, to give you one more example, let's say that you are in a car and you hit the brakes and come to a stop. So there is some friction force on the um, tires by the road, okay, that causes the car to stop. Well, that means that according to Newton's third law, there's also a friction force on the road by the tires. Okay, so that makes sense, I think. If you um, imagine over time, roads probably get worn out because of this friction that's constantly being exerted on them. Um, also, if uh, you put a piece of paper on the road, for instance, the tire might fling the paper out behind the car um, because there's that friction force that's being exerted by the tire on the road. Um, so notice how I label the forces here. Um, my forces always have a type. I like to use G for gravitational forces, N for normal forces, a lowercase f for friction, um, because sometimes people just use capital F for just an unknown type of force. So if you do lowercase f, then everyone will know it's friction. Um, and then the other kind is just tension. So I use T for tension. So let's say a tension force um, on a ball by a string, for instance. And that's going to be equal and opposite to a tension force on the string by the ball. Okay, so um, for the subscripts, you can usually just do one letter. Um, if you think it might be unclear, then you can do a little key, or it's okay to just write out the whole word if you need to. Um, sometimes we'll have like an elevator and an earth in the problem, and so um, if you have multiple things that begin with the same letter, um, it might be clearer just to write it out. 